The following program contains coarse language and nudity. Hello. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, Andy BGS listeners, and welcome into the one, the only, the world famous video game show. I'm your host, Rich Bergen. Sitting alongside me, as always, we have first Mr. Matt Gurley. Hi, everyone. Hi there. And we, of course, have uh, joining us once again because, again, the FCC hasn't gotten ba- uh, back yet. Uh, the only Mr. Jake Dashiki Friedel. Salutations. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> so exotic. <laughs> And this episode of the podcast is brought to you by the Mo Game Con. Mo Game Con coming August 13th to the Elks Lodge, 6330 Higgy Road after Missouri, 63123. Uh, tickets are now available. There's still a handful of vendor tables left, so if you're a vendor and you've been thinking about it, you need to get on it. Go to MoGameCon.com for all the details. That's MoGameCon.com. And if any questions or anything like that come up, uh, contact email is admin at MoGameCon.com. And uh, after talking to Chuck, I can make it official tonight. Uh, we will be recording a live episode of Video Game Show uh, starting somewhere between 2 and 2.30 that day. So uh, be sure to come out for that and uh, hear the podcast live. Got some folks coming into town, uh, some old familiars like Addie and Keith. Uh, I think Keith's coming. I'm not sh- Actually, I didn't confirm Keith. I know Addie's coming. She'll be back in town as well as uh, Bongo and BT are going to be here in town for that. So be sure to come check out a live video game show at Mo Game Con. And, Participate in some tournaments, buy some good stuff. It's all good fun. That's MoGameCon.com. By the time you hear this tomorrow, when this is out, it will be one month away. Uh, I almost don't want to hear you saying that. Why? Still so much to do. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm very excited. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. stoked. We ready. We yeah. Ready. We ready. It's going to be fun as hell. It's going to be good. Yeah, we, we just got a guy that bought a bunch of tables and... Primo stuff, yes. man. Nothing but the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you get cheap on me. <laughs> <laughs> VGSMillbox at gmail.com is the email address. The website, of course, is videogameshow.com or go to facebook.com slash the video game show. We, of course, record live as always from Game Trailer 2 to Hawks in St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. Uh, Game Trailer Roman Number 2 on Facebook. So check them out and check us out and be a part of it. We, we, we had some emails last time. Didn't have any this time. Love to get some emails from no you guys. No emails? Come on, people. I what's like emails? emails. We it's, love emails. Jake, it's like Jake, an early Christmas every time. I've already, what's your middle name? Dash, Dashiki. Dashiki. Dashiki, yeah. Jake Dashiki Friedel needs your emails, people. <laughs> yes, he yeah. needs them. He wants them. He craves them. Yeah. yeah. Dashiki is on my birth certificate. Right on. You're beautiful. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what they say. <laughs> All right, well, guys, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, sorry for no overclock this past week. Um, I was getting, oh, well, I was dealing with in the thralls of a kidney infection. I'm finally over that and back into the cell, so we should be back good and going there. Um, and that, that was pretty much how I spent my weekend was uh, uh, in a lot of pain at work. Um, yeah, that sounds truly awful. Yeah, yeah. Did you do anything fun or exciting over the weekend there, Jake? Ah, way back Point Fest. That was a good time. Oh, yeah. I Mr. was there, yeah, too. Yeah, Mr. Matthew Gurley is there. Uh, on a side note, Matt did something kind of interesting this past week, oh, too. Oh, that's right. I, 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 went and I went to Vegas. You know what happens in Vegas. <laughs> no, there wasn't, the clap, there, wasn't right? a, there wasn't a donkey show. But uh, <laughs> I went and got hitched. You got hitched? I got hitched. Married? Yeah. Mar- I got ma- married, boy. Look at this right here. I see a ring on my finger. Yep. She liked it, and she put a ring on it. Okay? Yep. Let's just say that. That's the first cocktail waitress he saw. He's like, I yep. want it. I'm going to marry that woman. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get an invite. You know, it was uh, more of a <laughs> spur of a... No. Uh, no, we planned to go out and uh, get it done. It was fun. I love Vegas. Vegas is so ridiculous. Yeah, and where'd you go through to uh, get married? We went to the finest... The famous place, the Chapel of the Bells. Oh. Uh, you may have seen that in Vegas Vacation, oh. where Clark and Ellen Griswold renewed their wedding vows. So I believe uh, there's a sh- few shots outside of it in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's in four movies, actually. It's been in four movies. So, okay. Um, but yeah, we did it. We got the shindig Was done. it an Elvis impersonator that married you? No. Oh. That cost extra. 
See, if I could get a midget Elvis impersonator to marry me, I'd marry the first person that asked. Absolutely. No questions asked. It's just like, we'll I'll get married. I'm like, I don't even know you. Like, midget Elvis impersonator. I'm like, okay, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Until right. test do we part, I guess, <laughs> for this five minutes of, of glory, if it's that long. We'd have a common story. Do they have an organ player, or did they, like, play the play music? Play music. Over... Play over speakers. Okay, here's the movies. Uh, it's uh, Honeymoon in Vegas. Okay, the Nick Cage, yep. Sarah Jessica Park movie. Uh, yep. Uh, Mars Attacks. Uh-huh. Mars Attacks. Excellent. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Vegas yeah, yeah. Vacation. And then what's this one on the top right? I honestly don't know what that is. Uh, the title's going through the bottom. Indecent Proposal. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And those are the four movies that that, mo- that that fine place was represented in. Do they have posters of the movies on the wall? They like, don't. As seen I in? honestly thought, because this is on their website, but I thought it, it, for sure they'd be pimping out Vegas Vacation, you know. You would think. Because that just, it just screams Vegas, but no, they well, did not. I hate to say this, but a lot of people look at that as the lesser of the vacation movies. So yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't. I love really? Vegas Vacation. I hate European Vacation. That's European Vacation is pretty useless. But the thing is, the three aside vacation from movies that, that I love. Aside from that one chick, that one German girl's boobs, that was pretty useless <laughs> movie. But the thing is, they all represent a different time. Like Christmas Vacation is perfect on Christmas. It's like one of the best Christmas movies. OG Vacation is just great for starters. I think Vegas Vacation is just, just kind of, I don't know. It's so tacky. I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The damn jokes. I mean, uh, as a kid, I just thought that stuff was hilarious. What would you think of the remake? Or the, I guess it's technically the fifth movie in the oh, series. Oh, uh, the Christmas Vacation 2? No, 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 no. The one oh, was yeah, vaca- I forgot they even oh, exist. I don't even count that. I'm talking about the one that was uh, oh, the Rusty Ed, Ed, Hel- or Ed, Ed Helms or playing. Ed Helms, yeah. Playing Rusty, yeah. Um, I have not seen it. And really? I, I, I have it, It's good. It's good. I, I yeah, enjoy it. I enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Generally, I'm not on uh, remakes or well, reboots. Well, the only but reason why I'm not huge on it is because I, d- I love Chevy. Chevy's in the movie. He's in it. But he's not. Well, yeah. But I just want him okay, companioning. I don't want him. He is a shadow of his former self now, though, unfortunately. Oh, I know. He's <laughs> clocked out a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you look at a lot of that old Saturday Night Live cast that did so well back in the day, and you look like him and Dan Aykroyd, and you're just like... <sighs> Well, he was only around for one season, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, and he was like the star. He was the yeah. above and all, way better than everyone else that first yeah, season. Yeah, he fell off a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, he was, <laughs> but um, but no. So yeah, got married, had fun, back in town, came back. Today was my first day back at work, and it was this great, best day ever. I mean, being back at work? No, not at all. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> so, but other than that, yeah, got married. That's what I did. Okay. See, I got my my annual. Um, take the two days off to go uh, game hunting at the flea markets coming up this weekend and all I'm shredding is the two days work. Huh? Where are you going? Uh, Saturday I'm going to go around the Illinois flea markets. Sunday I'm going to go to Wentzville and uh, some Mm -hmm. areas around here. It's I do it. It's the weekend before my birthday. I always do it every year. Really? Last year I got crapped on because I'm driving out to Wentzville, doing it right at like 5 in the morning. It's pitch dark. Sun's starting to come up, but not really. And literally, right about six a.m. when it opened back up, down. no <laughs> thunderstorms, and they uh, can't. No one opened oh, up anything. Man, and I was like, totally ruined, totally screwed up my day. I'm hoping this year the rain gods will be nice. Well, have to you me checked the forecast? Have you been keeping an eye on there's it? There's like a thirty percent chance of a storm. Oh, it's gonna storm. <laughs> Gosh damn it! I no no. I hope it doesn't. But that 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 sucks if it does. Well, you can always just go the usual route and hit up all the old game stores. Yeah. I'm going to, but it's six in the morning. They don't tend to be open on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you can be pretty persuasive if you <laughs> tell them like I'm outside your building with a bulldozer. Yeah. You should be here and open up. Pretty confident, no one at Slackers is there to get that call at seven in the morning. They tend to show up. I swear I was gonna pay for everything. Yeah. I left the can- I left you an IOU. Yeah. I was gonna <laughs> come back and put it down later. <laughs> Two hundred thirty thousand for the Lambo. Yeah. That's a, that's an expensive one. Better hold on to that. <laughs> Yeah, that well, well. If any, I hope it doesn't it rain because that's that's like the worst. Because it's it's almost like that's a lot of work to do. You get up early, early, early. You drive not so close. No. Um, and when you get there, if it's ruined, that that's just a waste of time that could have better been spent sleeping peacefully, sleeping, which yeah. is wonderful. I remember too how that played out last time. I stood around there for about two hours to see if the rain was going to let up. I walked around the handful of inside vendors for like a few times. I went to Walmart to take a crap and then waited <laughs> and the rain never stopped. So I'm like, screw it. Went by Hardy's, got some breakfast, drove home. I get home, which is an hour away from the flea market, and I kid you not, sun came out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, but I'm like, by that point in time, are the vendors really going to still be there and set up outside at that point in time? No, I don't think I doubt. so. Or they're going to show up at all. There's no chalk it so, up as a loss. So yeah, so yeah, I'll be out in the uh, Illinois, uh, the the Belleville once a month flea market happens to be this weekend, so I'm hitting that up in Route 66 in Grand City, 
on Saturday and then hopefully Wentzville Sunday if the, the rain gods are good. Well, best of luck to you on your Thank hunts. you. I hope to find some good stuff. You go out there and it's all just like NFL fever. <laughs> <laughs> I hear we're going to have a couple of copies at the con. I hope so. <laughs> I've been needing seven or eight of them. <laughs> now if I go buy them out at the flea market first. You dog. Oh, <laughs> All right, you you. I want you to ha- you take the first story because I, I I know what I wanted to chit chat about. Okay, and it has nothing to do with the first story. I don't I don't know. Maybe what's your first story? <laughs> I don't even know what stories are covered. I was waiting so for Rich to jump all. in the pool. And get wet. <laughs> well, I, I, I hope we it's can... not the kiddies one because they've done that. <clears throat> well, I don't know. <laughs> You're not allowed in the kiddies <laughs> one or in 500 feet of it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Nope, not since that unfortunate incident involving trying to catch a rare Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's right. Pokemon Go. <laughs> that. That's our... St- oh, yeah, that, I heard about that. That's a game. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a thing that came out. I um, guess. How did it happen? So, congratulations yeah. to you if you don't know. That must be one hell of a rock. Holy crap. Yeah. If, um, you, if you've avoided social media... You probably still heard it. I don't think you can no, avoid yeah. your social media. It's, are, it's, a, it's hitting up at, everywhere. At Point Fest, I was talking to my buddy Tyler about it. And he would just, this dude in front of us turns around. Like, we were just mentioning, like, have you heard about this? He's like, yeah. This dude turns around and like, Pokemon Go, bro. And we're both like, uh, yeah, yeah. So, he's like, yeah, Nux, dude, Nux. And we're like, uh, <laughs> it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so if you somehow have avoided this really quick... Pokemon Go is a free app that's available on pretty much every mobile device on the planet, and it allows you to search for Pokemon uh, using your GPS uh, to go to real-world locations, and it encourages players to travel to different destinations to not only hunt for Pokemon, but to go to Pokemon gyms and find other Pokemon trainers, to find collectibles, all this crap. And it took off like wildfire, and that it's the most used Android app. It surpassed Twitter. Yeah. And that which is saying something. Right. In uh, a week. Such a small, In a week. E- exactly. In one week. Like, that yeah. is literally like, I don't know. And it, what, what was the stock percentage of Nintendo? They're up oh, what? massive. So like, yeah, it's it like, like 20%. 20, 20 plus percent. Yeah. And they hadn't seen that uh, in a very, Probably very since the Wii time. came out. I mean, the Wii... I mean, it the Wii, the Wii did bank, yeah. yeah. But yeah, this is, it is a, it, it's not a release. It's a phenomenon. Yeah. yeah. And that, I mean, to the point where, like, you turn onto a news network and watch for 30 minutes, you're going to hear someone talk about Pokemon Go right now. Yeah. In some way, shape, or form, fashion. I- including the fact that our own hometown, Missouri Pride, uh, first spot of uh, a crime involving Pokemon Go as uh, some folks in O'Fallon, Missouri, were apparently staking out one of these Pokemon sites, waiting for people to show up to uh, do stuff with their Pokemon and rob their asses. Yeah. Proud moment for Missouri once again. We have lots of them. We really do. (laughs) But, yeah, so it's a free-to-play game, but, of course, they're going to charge you money for stuff down the road, Uh, buying more Pokeballs, buying this, that, the other thing to soup up your Pokemon. Um... And that, and everyone, their brothers playing it, and then uh, kind of the oopsie moment happened. And I was curious to see if this affected people. If people stopped playing it. Uh, it. Turns out there was some sort of error in the coding, which gave the company who's running this game uh, full contact with your emails if you signed in with your Google account, which most people probably did. At least all Android is right. Uh, I did it that way too with my iPhone. I mean, you know, so that's a bit of a. You can go through Google Stuff. through the iPhone, even. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. No, okay. I'm oh, shocked. Yeah, yeah. I'm shocked they allow that. Okay. But but to be honest, I think a lot of apps you don't realize, like Facebook. Facebook has everything. Yeah. 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 I mean, it has more so probably than that. Yeah. So, no, they always ask for all the permissions, and you hit no, and it's like, oh no, you can't install. Yeah, them. you can't install. Yeah. It. So therefore, it really kind of. Eh. Yeah. But uh, hey, w- between because I see the number obviously. Um, does anyone know how high they boosted the value of Nintendo Company? Uh, Two number. Uh, one. You guess one. You guess one. What's the value? How much was it boosted? What yeah. was it before? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Just, just give Are you just asking me what the change was? <laughs> boosted the market value of Nintendo Company by X amount of dollars in just a few days. Uh, 100 million. Uh, 300 million. 9 billion. Oh my nine god. 9 billion dollars? The real life city streets has boosted the market value of Nintendo Company by 9 billion in just a few days. 100 million is a lot. 300 yeah. million is a hell of a lot. 
nine billion dollars. Like, yeah, when you're talking percentages, anyway, Nintendo has so much more money yeah. <laughs> in the bank than like, like Sony could, and they Microsoft. They could lose money for like thirty years, right. and then they would be like, "Well, maybe we should do something different." <laughs> so, right. Well, the interesting thing is too is that you, Nintendo just got into the mobile market. They had the Mitomo thing, which was a which, failure. Which, terrible, yeah, well, it caught on at first because of the promise of like earning coins for their new Nintendo Club and stuff like that, and then it quickly died away because people realized all you're essentially going to go on there and do is answer questions, and no one really wanted to do that we all have facebook we all have twitter and instagram and all that other crap so why why even do that um the fact that this doesn't integrate nintendo club nintendo into it yes. i think is a real I, well you it don't get an update is, i have a feeling i don't know do they need it i mean clearly right. they don't need to entice people to play it they've been enticed yeah i mean let's not i mean i know a lot of people and i am i'm gonna sound i sound hypocritical because i frankly didn't jump on the pokemon bad wagon until a few months ago i never played a pokemon yeah, you game started before. With red or blue uh, red. Red. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, this is taking off like wildfire. Like, I mean, if you go, if you know anything about retro gaming, probably the most sought after Game Boy games, aside from like really obscure titles like uh, Awesome Tater and stuff like that, the next thing you're going to hear people screaming for is mm. Pokemon games. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they're everywhere. For color or Game Boy, I mean, it's, or I guess color and, uh, any of them. Yeah. Really? I was going to say, I, generally, people. You can have that for five seconds and sell it. I mean, for whatever the going value is. Exactly. I mean, Pokemon somebody will buy it. There's no you know? one's ever said. No one's ever said, "Man, I got a lot of Pokemon games just sitting here not doing anything." <laughs> right. Unless they're bootleg crap, and you right. can generally tell that. Right. Clearly, there's a market for it, but I don't even think Nintendo even understood this because I know people who've never touched a Pokemon game had no idea what the hell Pokemon was, but are seeing what it is now. They're di- and they're like, they're like, oh my gosh, I gotta play this because they got these cute little animals. So I wonder if we're gonna see the original games uh, going up in price due to this. I can't. It's not gonna hurt. It's not. Gonna well, hurt. yeah, it's definitely not it's gonna, gonna hurt it. Them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you're right. I think I think this is gonna get it's... people to. I think here's what's gonna happen. You got people playing the game. Actually, you know what we should do right now? Kind of see what the uh, end sales are on eBay for. Uh, Let's it. say blue and red. Okay. And then, I don't know, a couple weeks from now, or the next show, we kind of see uh, where they're at then. All right, let me look up Pokemon Red. Pokemon Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Sold listings. And I'm going to sit here and watch you guys do it. All right, so the last few. Not the first um, Actually, it's not crazy. 25, 38, uh, 25, 30. Yeah, I think I think yeah, twenty-five red, thirty is what red's we're like thirty-seven ninety-five, thirty-five, now here's one for forty, thirty-six ninety-nine, and it's all, a lot of them labels are faded and red. Forty, and thirty-two, twenty-one, but it doesn't save, so that's pretty much useless. So, well, so th- we, can we say between twenty-five, thirty-five? Would that yeah. be a safe yeah. estimate between yeah. the two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's let's figure that up, and then it's going to go weeks up because you're, what you're going to have happen is you, people are either going to get burned out on the game. But they're like, oh, there's this whole universe of Pokemon that right. I never knew about or never gave a chance to. So they're going to run out and buy. It's, Actually, what I think would be a really interesting statistic is to find out what the sales are going to be on, like, the 3DS of the old Pokemon games now. Because they do can get red, blue, and yellow on, on, the, the, 3DS. on the 3DS. I'll bet you're going to see those sales jump up quite a bit. Once yeah, people interest in the newer ones that haven't uh, uh, the moon and the... You, you'll probably have a lot of parents maybe going out and buying these games for their kids because they're just like, I'm sick of... My kid running off my phone everywhere. So if if this wasn't an original, or I'm sorry, wasn't the Pokemon IP, and it was like an original IP, I don't think so. No, I don't think it would have taken off. You know, I don't if think it was it... catch the cre- creature with the empty coconut shell or something. <laughs> yeah, you know? like this is stupid. Yeah. Throw it away. I think if you even did like, you could even take a known thing like Digimon. I don't think Digimon would take off like well, this. Well, no, I don't think. Yeah, but Pokemon yeah. still N- is Nintendo and popular. Po- oh, yeah, like it's yeah. just, and the fact of the matter is. Well, we got you feel like you're coming really out. playing it because you walk up and he's right there. It's yeah. aug- was it augment, augment Yeah, it uses reality, it uses GPS for the map, but then it goes to augmented reality where it like if you're if you have this game and you're not using your camera feature, you're doing it wrong. Enable the camera feature because then the Pokemon will appear in the real world. And like in the past week, I've seen people hunting, like playing this game everywhere from like inside a Target, in parking lots, at churches. Like people are running around with their phones and they're doing exactly what the, the music's very distinctive. There is no other music <laughs> like that. By the way, whoever came up with the music for that game is brilliant because that music is so soothing and tranquil <laughs> it's so peaceful oh, man, that it's like it. i could totally i could totally get into listening to this don't do that 
Don't do that. What? Can't, oh, I was going to say. I was going to YouTube and do yeah, the OSC. Okay. Oh, yeah. you were going to download it? No. No, no. I downloaded it and I deleted it because I kind of freaked out with the whole they get my email thing. Oh, yeah. And great. plus, I just thought the better of it. I'm like, do I really want to get to You have Facebook. They got your emails. I know they do. Actually, no, they don't. I have a dummy email for my Facebook account. Oh, that's actually And a dummy email for idea. my Twitter account, so I don't get emails from either of those things. Yeah, I mean, uh, a couple of my friends that I wouldn't suspect that would be playing it are playing it. And I actually never installed it, so I was like, okay, what's this all about? And so I followed them up to a tennis court where there's mm-hmm. supposed to be a, some Pokemon or whatever. And I was like, ah, I, I don't know. This, I don't I, know if this is really for me or not. So That's not it. I don't know what that is. Um, I can kind of measure, like, how big of a phenomenon it's become when my dad comes up and asks me about it. Really? Yeah, when my That's dad goes, so what's this Pokemon Go? And I'm like... Why do you know about this? Right, yeah. Like, you have no reason to know about this. Because, like, my dad pretty much... My dad's not an internet person, really. He pretty much watches news channels, and he watches, like, Alaska... Any show about Alaska and, like, Discovery <laughs> Channel, where he loves those shows, and, like, Dr. Pool. So, like, I mean, they're very so, close. So when he asks me about a video game, I'm like, how do you know about this? And sure, fine enough, like, I flip it through the channel, CNN, Fox News, BBC America, or, I'm sorry, BBC World Report, they're all talking about Pokemon Go! Yeah. Like, it is that big. Um, so, kudos to Nintendo for... Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they had no idea that it was going to blow up like that. I mean, it's like popular because it's Pokemon, but this is this is outside of gamers. This is outside of people yeah. who like Pokemon. This is outside of people who like games in general. They're just yeah. like, it's it's fun. it's like geocaching or whatever. They, yeah, it's just, you go out there, you find them. <laughs> it's, it's the next iPhone Shake the Baby app. <laughs> yes, or a top contender for it. That's for damn sure. If I could start trading my Pokemon for Doge, that'd be great. <laughs> Just saying. Or there's a Doge Pokemon. Do they have exclusive Pokemon for this? I wonder. I think it's just the original right now. The oh, is there only? I don't know if it's 150. I don't know. I don't. I, I thought it was. Well, I don't think you can catch evolved out there. You have to like yeah, once you catch them, you can evolve them and all that stuff. But uh, so, can you battle them in the gyms? Is that I don't know. I never. I, I, know. I haven't gotten close enough to a gym to check. If, if you could do it like a monster rancher type thing, that would be awesome. I assume, hey Chuck. He's outside. He's oh, making he's a poo. It lists. Um, it says. Checking it out. I don't know. I was trying. I don't know. I don't know how the gym thing works. You know, there's people listening right now. These guys are idiots. Yeah, they're screaming at us right now. What do you mean you don't know about the gym? Sorry. um, Yeah, this is a little outside my, you know, peripheral (laughs) view. Um, We did post a story that we thought it caused a multi car collision. Turns out that was fake. But I'm going to just say this. Um, when's that coming? Because you know that's going to happen. Yeah. Someone's well, going to... Yeah, Missouri already has the uh, the driver's safety. Don't, you know, no Pokemon's worth it. That's an actual advertisement. Yeah. Yeah. MoDOT. And yeah. then the other sad thing is, like, uh, again, I got to assume this is all computer generated, that some program algorithm picked out, like, what sites are, like, gyms, what sites are check-in points. All right. Stuff. There's already problems with the fact that some of these places are showing up in places that are very inappropriate. For instance, a big thing about the fact that the uh, Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C. is upset by the fact that there's apparently a gym at the Holocaust Museum and people are just walking in there with their phones and doing their Pokemon thing and then leaving. Yeah, that's it's kinda like, stupid. You that's... need to be more respectful. You know, apparently somebody said the 9-11 memorials got one on it and stuff like that. It's like, look... Um, just There's the places patch, to just do the, this, like like that that get rid of these site sensitive places. And I believe I believe Cor- or, <laughs> we got shown earlier that there is a check in point at a gravestone near here that is a memorial to babies that died in abortions, yeah, and that's so a check in site. A- um, look, I thought it was kind of weird when a Mary statue at a church by my place had a gym and a check-in point, but this is really absurd yeah. that there's grave sites there getting this too. It's like, okay, have a little taste in that, but oddly enough, the biggest casino in this town doesn't have anything in it. Right, yeah, it's strange. I, don't know, I figured, I figured, great, great tie-in. They lead you there, and then there's like the new Pokemon slot machine. <laughs> That would be kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, why not? They've got a Britney Spears slot machine. Why is there not a Pokemon Sony slot machine? Man, we got to make Mo Game kind of gym. You got to <sighs> look into it. I'm very <laughs> wondering if Elk's Lodge is a gym. If it is, I hope so. Yes, I, I think it will be. Can you trade? In, I wonder if you can trade. Gonna be, no. That's going to be an update. They're gonna, oh, okay. Uh, and come on, update within the next month. <laughs> yeah, come trade at the uh, Mo Game Con to. Oh, that's what's the address here. Full game con. Elk Slotch, 6330 Higgy Road after Missouri, 63123. Everyone shows up at Thai cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That was delicious! <laughs> <laughs> no games, but that was a great meal! Wait, wait, you didn't even have that. No. You had Stefani's or whatever the hell they And it was good. Was it good? It was delicious. Yeah, the, the Stefanino's. 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 You'll get the roast beef in your cheese balls. Oh, yes. Fried cheese balls. Fried mozzarella balls. I see as many balls. balls as I can fit in my mouth. <laughs> it's always a, cha- always a challenge, isn't it? <laughs> Spoiler alert, it was 11. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call you dashiki for nothing. That's right. <laughs> Oh man! Moving right. on, <laughs> moving on. So, did anybody? Uh, Steam sale kind of came and went since we last talked, um, and uh, yeah, uh, big money maker there. But weirdest story came out of that. Um, so, there's a player on Steam whose uh, name is Stax. Um, it's S T number four C K. Uh, his current Steam level is 1,113, making it the official highest level Steam um, out there. And that, and the question mark was like, basically, how did he do this? Because of the fact that it's kind of crazy to uh, get there and all this stuff. Well, essentially, he spent about thirteen thousand dollars to make him the highest Steam level out there. So basically, here's how he did it. Um, he bought Summer Sale Mysterious cards every day from the first day of the release to the Steam Community Market on the $2,000 daily limit. He uh, prepared 7,000 trading card complete sets from different games, getting Summer Bonus Sale cards after he crafted them. And uh, to get the maximum out of his sales, Steam cards, uh, got thousands with trades and many other Steam users. So basically, he spent $13,000 to give himself a... Uh, a, a, a big thing. Um, unfortunately, it nearly didn't work due to what appeared to be a glitch on Steam's end, but now he's officially the highest level Steam person for $13,000. What in God's name would ever possess anyone to do this? e pain <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really? I, I mean... Yeah, I, I don't get it either. There's your glorious PC master race. Yeah. I, I, I was going to say, I have Steam, and you know I, I probably have a catalog of probably several hundred games, honestly. Yeah. I didn't even realize the whole trading card thing was a thing. What's you know? the point? I didn't get. I don't. I have you can them. sell them. You know, I think my cards are worth like twenty and thirty cents or something like that. But who's buying this and why? It. I don't know. It's it's I catch them all theory Pokemon. Yeah, there I don't you know. Go. I don't know. I mean, I've never personally been into things like achievements and whatnot right. and trophies. Like I know. I, like, you know when uh, when Xbox first came around, or well, not Xbox first came around, but uh, Xbox Live first came around, mm-hmm. um, they had a thing like if you acquired so many points within a month, you could get free games and stuff. That was really cool. Yeah, it was like, really Contra, early. It was like 360 and stuff like yeah, that. Like, yeah, like uh, the Contra Arcade port was yeah. on Xbox Live, and I think that was one of them, like if you got 600 points or something like that. I remember when people got caught in this because they would get like really simple games out there that were like notorious, like you get a thousand gamer score within right. a half hour. And then people were hacking it and everything else, so it yeah. went down the tube real quick but yeah it it was cool starting out and then it's after that it was just kind of like all you right. can usually tell these people by if you start looking through their games list and you see really incredibly crappy games on their games list and right. like, they did that for the like like avatar the last airbender is one of the most notoriously horrible games on the xbox 360 but you could get a thousand gamer points off of it in like no time flat uh by doing things i think like one of the Teenage Mutant Turtles games gave you achievement just for turning it on. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, you can you can see the people who harvested and versus the people that just like I just play games for right. the sake of playing games. And that the only game I think I've ever a thousand percent a hundred percent on was Lego games, but that's just because I like to do everything in a Lego right, game. Yeah, but that's about it. Um, and the Telltale yeah. games are good about that too. Just playing through it. Oh yeah, yeah, the they're a lot of fun yeah. unlocking all the different characters and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm sorry, we got Coley sidetracked. You were going to take the next story after that. I'm what? sorry. You wanted the next story after Pokemon Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you I had to pull up. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited because they announced it. Don't freedle this up for me. Oh, I will. I know. <laughs> uh, no Man's Sky. They got the, it's ready. It's ready? Yeah, it's ready. When is it releasing now? Uh, August 9th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were talking so, about this before. Um. You know, it's weird. Right it's before only... World Game Con, that ain't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's I'm excited because I was going to give it a shot, you know. Uh, it's weird. It's only six gigs. That's it? Yeah, and they say most of it is audio because the stuff, the planets and stuff are all generated. Yeah. It's, oh, like, okay. it's like a randomly generated dungeon, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, but, yeah, No Man's Sky is going to be out. I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, you know, the thing is... Every other game, we know what's going to be like. Um, Call of Duty, all this other crap, this stuff that gets thrown out every year, we know what it is. 
the thing was with this one, I don't know what's really going to go on. I don't know what you're supposed to do. And I kind of like that idea. I just want to go into this new and have fun. Like, it's, there is a total of 18 quintillion planets for the, plan, for the players to explore. It's estimated that if you spent just one second visiting each of them, it would take you 500 billion years to see them all. <laughs> yeah. So, it's just going to be... I'm going to be very curious to see, like, when you get to the planet, what it's what are you supposed to do once you get to that planet? I think it's going to be, like, mining resources and stuff like that and, and killing, in, you know, or certain things. It's just Can I finally get the Dune game I always wanted and more? Can I create... <laughs> you might. Or, can I get to Arachnus and... Yeah, uh, I, I just want the game mechanics to be solid and, you know, have something interesting to do. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to it, and it's I'm glad they actually... It's coming out this year because you know you know they kept pushing it back and take your time, do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. But it's even cooler now because it's August as opposed to like December or January. Right. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm I've I've been looking forward to something um, a little more that and also just something I can sink my teeth into again because I haven't been able to get back into Fallout as much as as many times as I tried. Nothing against it, I just haven't been able to get back into it. And I right. want a big game to play again. I was gonna mm -hmm. say, man, the only thing I'm super stoked about right now is. Uh, Resident Evil, and that's not until January, so... 7, tw uh, 24, 24th. 24th, 24th yeah. yeah. Well, you know what uh, did come out today? Resident Evil 5 Remastered came out today on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Oh, 5. five. Yeah, 6 came six out came first. 6 first. came out for, Well, Which, wait, wait, no. Or, didn't Origins come out first? Zero well, yeah, and one, Origins came out first. And, and then, then 6, six five. 5, and well, I guess... Weren't they redoing 4 again, porting it over or something, too? As far as I know... 2, all, 3, and 4 are, like, the most ported games. Right. As far as I know, there's some supposed to eventually have all of them on Xbox One and PlayStation oh, okay. 4. I don't know if they're doing like two yeah. and three as a combo set. It's Capcom. Just wait. You'll get a box set. Well, I they're going to do two and I know you're excited about that. Yeah. Redoing two. And, yeah, yeah. Like the, like they did with one. Yeah. Which and, will and be if, awesome. if they do it right like they did with one, oh, it's it, going to be amazing. I, I have no worries oh, anymore. And Capcom's as long as, really as, long as they keep around. it like they did the remake, it's still, I want tank controls. I just want a beautiful... Because, right. honestly, 1 and 2 and 3, the environments are still cool because it's pre-rendered. The character models all yeah. like crap. You, it's, you're better off playing the GameCube remake or the ones on the PS3 are they, PS4. Are they Are they redoing 3 and 4? And, or, I'm sorry, 3 and I have Veronica. a feeling if um, 2 does, will, I bet if 2 does extremely well, which I'm 2 sure will do will, very yeah. well. Because yeah. everyone has been saying... Give us two. Like, no one gives a crap about six. Yeah. Not many people Resident like five. Evil. Six sold well. Six sold well. Yeah. <laughs> when six they sold it. well. Well, but here's the thing, though. Six comes out in a package deal of $20 with all DLC. If you never tried it before, well, that could be pretty enticing for someone who's never played it before. Five, I mean, clearly they're going out and going, okay, let's get rid of the ones that no one really cares about first. Because once you get past Punch six and older. five, yeah. four, <laughs> Code Veronica X, three, and two are very popular games. Well, four yeah. is also like the most popular of the uh, over the shoulder right. uh, 3D yeah. event. And Can people, they'd like in, you know, I guess, a next gen HD, you know, just re remastered. But, uh, oh, sure. I would, I, I'm excited for two because uh, one's my favorite. Even the remake, the remake of one is like my favorite game of, of the series. But two. Um, it's just as good. It's just it's just a whole. It's just such a different environment to me, and that's what that's why I couldn't get into as much. I just I just love the Resident Evil franchise anyway because I and I love one. So you had okay. So you had Resident Evil one. Then you had the director's cut of one, which I had think had Dual Shock. Well, there, no, no one. Director's cut. Right. Director's cut. Director's cut. Greatest hits, which is the Dual Shock. Oh, really? Okay, yes. I didn't realize that was so the third like incarnation. Three, of it. three incarnations of. RE. Okay, so then. We well, also actually, had... hold on. There's four. Well, if you count like the there's three. long box. Oh, right. no, no, okay. No, 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 no. I'm talking about just actual changes to the game. Oh, okay. I'm talking about variations. Oh, well, <laughs> there's, long, there's long box. There's, there's regular box. There's oh, regular. I'm, I'm not even gonna count variations. Yeah, see, I'm just counting yeah. actual okay. changes in the game. Oh, okay. So, so then on DS we had Deadly Silence, which is actually a good port of it. Um, the unfinished, which you can play it and download the ROM of it. The game, our game, game color, Boy, Game Boy Color, one. Game Boy Color yeah, version. No, no, no. no. Or, there is one. There was. It was actually Resident Evil One, oh, just they, in like Game just, Boy graphics. Oh yeah. And they didn't. They didn't release it. Did right, they? right. Because they weren't. I've happy seen with that. The and it's, it's all right. Yeah, and uh, there's Resident Evil on the Game Con. Yep. There's Resident Evil on DOS. Wait, wait, wait. That was Resident Evil Two on Game Con, though, wasn't it? You're right. Yep. Okay. No, right Resident there. Evil One's on DOS. And oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah, because Absolutely. it's got it's got this really bizarro like map editor thing, which just changes. I, the I got a brand new slightly. video card. There's a four meg card, so I could play it even. Nice. There's, <laughs> a, there's, a there's a Voodoo FX. Yeah. There's the Saturn version of Resident Evil, which has a, a boss 
like a boss mode at the end and yep. different music. Yep. Yep. Resident Evil has a lot of incar in in incarnations, but like th I didn't three is all right. Three is gives me anxiety. Yeah. Because Nemesis, I w I was I remember reading about it in like PSM, like oh he chases you. I'm like I guess he chases you through the hall Stars. and you leave. But like he chases you no matter what. And yeah. It's weird because you'll shut the door and you'll be like the music's like gone for a yeah. second. And, okay. You know, turn the corner and all of a sudden he could, oh, stars. Like it's it gives me like uh, uh, too much anxiety. I'm gonna say this as, as as much as the Resident Evil movies have jack shit to do with Resident Evil, I did like the Nemesis uh, moment in Res the second Resident Evil movie where Nemesis gets released and they go he goes to that store where the stars have taken over the store to be kind of like a blockade and what's his name not Omar Epps but the Mike Epps is in there with his guns and that and the it was just, just lays waste to every stars person and just leaves him standing there and it's like he's staring at those two guns shaking it says like threat level one then he drops his guns threat level none just walks away like whatever dude <laughs> I actually like I like Resident Evil 1 and 2 I like, I like the, mo the, the, the movies yeah, yeah. I See, actually, I, like, I was I wasn't a fan of two. I liked the first one, and then what was the third one where they're in the oh, desert? Jesus. So. I, oh, Jesus! Apocalypse. Apocalypse. I actually Apocalypse. liked. Apocalypse. I did not like it. I like really? the first one a lot, actually. The first one's like campy, but it's I like it. The it's like a campy zombie movie. Two is over the top, which is what I kind of like about it. I like two a lot, actually. One well, I'm a, a, I'm one a big fan a really, of that girl who played Jill Valentine, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> one had a really cool soundtrack though, because had that Marilyn Manson kind of. Yeah. Like just, and then like a couple Slipknot. It was just a really typo negative because they were on every soundtrack during that time frame. But it was on there. But yeah, Resident Evil. <laughs> Back to Resident uh, Evil. <laughs> that's that's that's. They're gonna make two. Two's gonna sell like hotcakes. They had auto. Yeah. If they I, can, I would be shocked if it didn't. Yeah. And then you know, if they actually, do three, especially and, after this new one comes out. I mean, it's the franchise is really gonna. Kick and I just bought here, Origins. Man. I remember I bought Origins because I wanted to have a physical copy of the first game, the remastered. You know. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Because it was on the PS3, but you couldn't get a physical copy unless it was a. Yeah, I, I got whatever. I got mine from yeah Japan actually, and then. Uh. Yep. <laughs> well, we had uh, since Leos also talked about in our limited run games move. Yep. And that Zeo Zeo Dr Drifter and uh, Lost Sea. Lost by Sea or something I like that. I didn't buy it. Did you? Yep. I bought Zeo Drifter. What are I what bought them both. Yeah. It's a platformer. 2D, 2.5 or whatever. Yeah, no 2D. I I will buy every game. What did that you they buy? Release. What was the other one? Uh, Lost by C. What's Lost that? C. I, I don't know, it's PlayStation it's, 4, so I didn't get involved in it, that It's one. kind of a, like a top-down hack and slash, but it does have like hit points and stuff like that. Kind of like Zelda? Yeah, but not anywhere in the near realm of being good. Like but, it. By the way, I know we've been we've been screaming about titles that I think would be just amazing hits out of the park sellouts for limited run games, but I think now the new one that everyone's now screaming, please get is the new Mana game that just came out. The what? There's a new Mana game. Really? Oh, Mana. Oh, the Mana. Like Legend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Secret and Legend. And yeah. yeah, yeah. There's um, a new one that just came out on the PSN network for Vita and PlayStation 4 is huh. download only. Well, How cool. Rocket League? Oh, guys, it's physical it. copy, it's finally. Out. Yeah. I didn't know anything about it. Did you? No, it can't. I, we I saw the show. The it came out. The last show we made, right after that, yeah, we looked it, it came up out. And I'm like, yeah. we had, I had no idea. No clue. Um, yeah, so once again, we've talked about this so many times on the show, but if you still, are, maybe you didn't want it because it was digital, you have no excuse to buy one of the funnest games you what will ever play. What is it, like 20 play. bucks, probably? 30. Oh, 30. But then 30. again, I think it's... Um, you get a bunch of, you get all the DLC, the DLC. Oh, okay. except for some exclusive and, stuff. Uh, and uh, Xbox One has the Warthog, I believe, from Halo. PS4 oh, cool. has Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. That's oh, awesome. Okay, that's pretty cool. Very cool. So that's I have cool. it digitally oh, oh, what, on what? PS4, but I'm, I might be tempted to what, buy it. What is the physical. Wii U got? What <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh. It's oh, Luigi oh, giving the death oh, stare. See, oh. I didn't even say it. I didn't say it. He said it. I said nothing bad. <laughs> no, about hey, Wii U. hey, no, no I'm, I'm a fine. Wii U he, fan, he but there's definitely, own grave there. there's definitely enough to uh, joke about the Wii U. For but sure. yeah, Rocket League physical copies. It's thirty bucks. It comes with the DLC. If you seriously didn't buy because it it's digital only, but you have no excuse, buy one of the best games. Mm -hmm. uh, on this console generation, sadly, it's just funny to say that, but it's one of them. It's for me at least, it was one of them like funnest games I've played in a long time. That's cool. Yeah. And they just had there's hockey mode in it now. Uh, it's uh, story yeah, I'll, floor. I've never spent more than ten minutes in it. I mean, I I need to play with. They somebody, put hoops I guess, mode. Yeah. It's a basketball court now. You have to get hoop, and then there's a uh, a couple other different modes. But they've they put so much out there for free too, which is really cool. 
Which also reminds me, GTA Five. I want to get that again on the on like the PS4. Oh, I've got it. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, all the stuff they, they keep putting stuff in that game. Uh, yeah. If there's, I waited that, for so long for that heist to come out. Now that it's out, I need to actually play with somebody on it. There's now there's now a new thing that just came out, and I believe it's called like Super Stunts. Or super Stunt. Like, yeah. yeah. Super Stunts update. It, it looks cool. It, it, it basically just made like it took races and put in like psycho ramps, hmm. 360 tunneling. All this crazy crap. Like, it's it, probably the best bang for your buck is going to be Grand Theft Auto V, just because they've yet to put out there anything you actually had to pay for. The, Everything's right. been freed up. It's, it's the it's best, and worst crowd of people, because every time they boot something out, there's always someone complaining. Rockstar, honestly, I can't fault. Can you really fault Rockstar for anything they've done in a long time? Not I sure really as hell no. can. No. Other than not making another Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption sooner. Well, yeah, yeah. Or a new sooner. table tennis game. Yep. Shockingly, and uh, I, I watch a lot of Digital Foundry where they, you know, compare, show, yeah, compare yeah, ports and stuff. It wasn't a whole lot other than a steadier frame rate. Right. I'm shocked it never got a PC release. That's it really did. shocking. No. Red Dead? Red Dead Redemption. Oh, Red Dead. Okay, yeah. okay. I was just saying, yeah. like, I play Grand Theft Auto V on the PC. No, it's no, 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 no. Yeah, no, it definitely when did. When they did that comparison, literally only difference is it's, it's like a pretty much lock 30 on the right, Xbox One. Yeah. And it dips a couple times, like 28, 27. But other than that... I, of course, have the PS3 version. This is the terrible version of it. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, Red Dead Redemption also is backwards compatible. So if you have not played that game and you have an Xbox One, it's like, what, 10, 10 bucks or so on the store yeah. or something like that? Yeah. Uh, that was one of the best games of the last console generation um, on its own. One of the coolest stories. Um, I can't recommend that one enough. Yep. There's a, by the way, there's a, there's a, on one of the last updates, I found this so funny, there's a car that they updated and put into it. It's part of the, uh, the finance update and that it's a $2.5 million car. It's a souped up race car mm -hmm. that, of course, that's just its base model after you, like, Boost right, it up right. with like bulletproof tires so that it gets really like expensive. If it gets destroyed by another player online, is and it that, gone? No, 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 no. You get it right back as the owner, but the person who destroys it, twenty thousand dollars is taken out of their virtual currency. <laughs> Wait, what? If you blow up if another, I, you have the you like, have that. Big if, I have, if I have a two I come so up, you can go ha, ah, dickhead, and you blow me up. It's going to charge you twenty thousand <laughs> in that GTA is currency awesome. for yeah. the fact you just blew up my car. Yes, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's basically it's turned into a um, it's turned into kind of a weird kind of ha ha thing where people are just burning through like firefights and you watch firefights stop when that You're car like, don't comes touch around because everybody's just like I don't want to pay twenty grand for that because <laughs> like about the only thing you have to pay for in GTA unless you want to go through and earn it is currency like if you like go okay I want to go ahead and go in and get like you know uh, I want to get like eight million dollars to buy like the nicest house and all the nice cars stuff like that you can buy what's called these uh, these great shark uh, great white great, or great shark cash cards and those are for money real money right or you can sit there and you can earn it doing jobs and what kind of that um, yeah, this car has basically now become like a bomb death trap of like, I can't blow up that car, I don't want to lose 20 grand. That's <laughs> funny, I didn't know that. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, that's, you, that's burn, you can burn through money very quickly playing that game. Yeah. And uh, by destroying other people's crap. So it's like, it's one of those things like, yeah, you can totally go out in the world and blow up people's cars, but there's a consequence for doing this, so maybe not be a total D-bag. But, <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. By the way, this you were talking about Rocket League coming out of nowhere. We didn't even realize it was coming. We talked about a while ago that GameStop was going to start releasing games under their own distribution hub. And the first one came out. Really? And it, yeah, came out this week. What? Uh, uh, Song of the Sea yeah, came out. Yeah. Developed by Insomniac Games, people behind Ratchet and Clank. Um, I picked it up, fourteen ninety nine for, for a what? physical copy. Uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. What the hell is it? It's JRPG. No, it's it's you're in the story arc of the game is that I'll give you a little mini review. Story of the game is um, you play the daughter of a sea captain um, who one day goes out and at to sea and never comes back, hmm. and so she decides she needs to go find him. So she builds a makeshift single person submarine, and you basically now take all the game takes place in the submarine. And you gotta go through the sea and explore different parts of it to try like and find a her. Side scroller type thing, or it's kind of like a. You know what it is? It's me, it's a Metroidvania game. Oh really? And that like you basically it's it's two D with really beautiful artistic backgrounds, nice music in that, and you go around in different parts and parts are blocked and you have to figure out puzzles. Like you may need to you'll know, see a statue without a head. You gotta go find the statue's head, put it on there, opens up a new path. 
you go to this point here, all of a sudden you get this this hook weapon that you can attack enemies with, you can open up stuff, and then you get a boost, you can go against the current. It's it's very much yeah, like a I'm, Metroidvania I'm, I'm type game. that type of gameplay. <laughs> ton of fun. Yeah. I know some people are kind of critiquing it a little bit. It's like, you know, it's a fourteen ninety nine game for physical release. Kind of like a, it feels like a limited run game. So it's Almost. probably going to be like that too if you, if they don't. I mean, if they if the demand's not met. Well, I mean, you know what though? Here's the thing though. GameStop's doing a great job promoting it. I mean, it's a cheap title. You get like a ton of points if you're a pro point pro member and you buy the game and that because they're trying to get you essentially buy into the new program. It's a game that frankly would have come out digitally if I, this GameStop hadn't happened. Only thing GameStop did was essentially come in and go, we want to distribute it physically in our stores. And that's the only way you can get it. You can't download it anywhere. Yeah. You have to physically go into a GameStop to buy this game. And it's well worth the time. And I'm willing to bet it's better than Ghostbusters that just came out. The game? The I game. don't know. I haven't heard anything about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's retailing for, you know, your fifty nine ninety nine, and it's supposed to be a business. You know you got a bad IP on your hands when you have the toys... On clearance. On clearance already, <laughs> and the movie hasn't even come out yet. Right out the gate. <laughs> you you know you, you, you've... Let's face it. If that... I, 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 I'm going to say this. That movie might very well be great. I don't know about it. The problem is that too many people have pre like preemptively have judged it for what it's going to be, and that and there are people that will never give it a chance a thousand years. No way, no how. I'm of the opinion that if it comes on Netflix and I'm sitting there one night and I'm bored, I'll sit through and watch, try and watch a little bit of it, and that I actually do enjoy some of Melissa McCarthy's work. I like Kristen Wiig. Um, I don't really know the other two women in there, so I can't really comment. I think immediately what turned me off to the movie wasn't so much the fact that they were making the movie, which turned off a thousand people to it. Right. Thousands. Um, my thing was when I found out that apparently the ghost from the Ghostbusters logo is actually a villain. Yeah. I'm like, how unimaginative do you have to be to say... We're gonna take the icon logo and, and make it into a villain. And to take him down, they shoot him in the crotch. Is that how that plays? Yeah, that's how they. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that's uh, woman power, yo. <laughs> <laughs> could could you see that being vice versa? It's the female ghosts that were shooting in the vagina. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I mean, come oh, on. Guys. By the way, uh, coming soon digitally to uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4, August 30th is Resident Evil 4 Remastered. It is Resident Evil digitally. 4. Okay. Digitally. Digitally. Now, digitally. Now, the other ones, 6 and 5, did the same thing when they came out digitally at first and then a few months later came out physically. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, coming up soon. Like and I said, if you wait long enough, I'm sure you'll be able to get a collection of. All of the discs, or some, or one disc, maybe. Who knows? Hopefully. Okay, yeah, it doesn't. It does not mention a physical release, which was promised earlier in the year. But if anything's, if trends continue, it will see a physical release via what Resident Evil Five and Six saw. So I'm sure it's going to get a physical release. There's almost no reason like why you can. Jake said they should just do a giant collection. One through one through six on two. Well, they kind of did that on Xbox 360. And they the, had uh, like a PS3. Big... They had a. It was a. Oh, but and that was the work. Yeah, this is when Capcom was still making terrible mistakes. They're like, well, half the games are a digital download code, yeah. and then the other. It's like, really? You, you know managed to right? mess that up. Uh, Metal Gear when they did that kind yeah. of collection yeah. on the PS3, PS3 of like yeah. all of them. On yeah, the even discs. the MSX versions or whatever. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I appreciate that. It was kind of funny because prior to that coming out, the, like the hardest to find damn game for the PS3 was the uh, the original HD remake they did that just included a handful of them, and then the Mega Collection comes out and all of a sudden, oh, there's all these HD remake ones popping up everywhere because yeah. everyone just traded in that one copy for the other. Uh, I'm curious why you haven't jumped in on this yet, Jake, because I, I read a headline like Sega Saturn copy protection gets cracked two decades later, and I'm like, why well, are you had the, in this? The, yeah, you said the swap the yeah, I mean. Man, I've been playing burnt discs on that since, you know, like, day one. Because, oh, okay. like, the original first model is, like, you'd wait for the light to access, like, three times blank. And then you open up the lid and then throw in your, like, you know, copy game and then you can play it. So, I mean, it, it's cool that they're doing this. Apparently for, uh, like, homebrew and stuff, it's, like, awesome for that. That's, I'm not, that is cool. I'm not coding or anything, so, I mean, it really didn't appeal to me. But what's even neater is already that you can do the thing where 
All you have to have is the action replay card, and you can actually burn, uh, how to save, I guess would be the right term, the information for, I forget what it's called, pseudo or something or another. Anyway, basically you can put the copyright protection or get rid of the copyright protection with the action replay. It writes it to the action replay cartridge, mm -hmm. which is pretty sweet. If you have a Saturn and you don't have an action replay, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, especially the ones that got the four meg card or whatever yeah. with it. So get the action to... replay, get that. That way you can play all your, your, your imports and all that stuff and yeah. build upon your library a lot faster. Uh, this is interesting. This broke earlier to, or yesterday. Uh, apparently Warner Brothers has sold an FTC complaint accusing the company of paying YouTubers hundreds to tens of thousands of dollars to make positive review videos yeah. for Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Okay, well, first of all, when you settle out of court, you've essentially said, oh, yeah, I'm totally well, asking That's kind of sad because it's a good game anyway. It really is yeah. a good game. I don't know why in the world you need to pay anybody for it. I love that game. Yeah. I thought it was solid. a ton of fun. Yeah. I mean, it would be, like, different if it was, like, you know, Warner Brothers paid a bunch of people to give Ghostbusters a good review. <laughs> I'm sure there's people getting paid. I'm curious to know what that's trending at right now uh, on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, by the way. Uh, completely not related to video gaming, but yet yeah, is uh, definitely a fun favorite topic of Jake's here to see uh, where this movie uh, ends up going to. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't like the only movie I watched as a child over and over and over again, I wouldn't have so much spite for it. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. But, uh, oh wow, it's currently trending at a 78% fresh. Yeah, on Rotten, that Tomatoes. on Rotten Tomatoes. That's uh, hmm. Like, is there anything that would make you see this movie? Man, I don't... Gun I don't pointed know. to his head? <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, I don't know. Aside from that, is there anything that would make you go I, see movie? I will For probably it. watch it once it's <laughs> digitally distributed, <laughs> not in the legal fashion. We need, to, we need to, like, clockwork. You wouldn't pirate a car, would you? <laughs> yes, I would. I always love that. Yes. You wouldn't pirate a car, but, like, hell yeah! Like, of would, course you would! I would build eight Lamborghinis. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Didn't your Jake, parents tell you that? Jake is so selfless. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Helps himself to your car. The humanitarian yeah. award goes to Jake Dashiki Friedel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to clockwork orange his ass just to make him sit here <laughs> one night. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's your favorite song so we can really screw with your hate change soundtrack? <laughs> not Ludwig van! How is it not Ludwig van? Anything. <laughs> not local H, you bastards! Yeah. <laughs> so anytime I hear Ghostbusters, I start gagging. I love that movie too. I, uh, Clockwork Orange. There's a lot of people that really hate on it. I, I, I love it. Yeah, I've only seen it like two times all the way through, but both times I'm just like, what a trip. Oh yeah, it, it's a great movie. I, it's a messed up movie at the roots of it. But yeah, it yeah. The old In and Out, <laughs> <laughs> or the Milk Bar. I mean, it's, it's excellent. I just find it funny that in one of the very early Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episodes, Bart is dressed up yeah, like him. I'm yeah. like, that's priceless that they did that. <laughs> Conquers Bad Fur Day. Oh, gosh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Um, I had another story of some nature that I can't seem to locate right now. Uh, try to find it real quick. Um... You lose story! I lost the story! Yeah, yeah there's another game that came out for PS4. The, um... Seven ways to die. Is it seven ways or seven days? Seven days to death to die. Seven days to die. Yeah. Seven days to die. Sorry. Yeah. It's been out for a while. Oh, it has? Um, yeah, on PC and I no, think I, it just like PS4. Yeah, I think it just Cause, Yeah, because the let's the, I know the Rooster Let's Play guys did like six or seven videos in Seven Days to Die and that where they were trying to do it and that basically um it's kinda like Day Z or Similar idea. Uh, I never played DayZ. I don't well, it's know. Like a, it's I'm a, not into the whole crafting mechanics and everything. They, they just yeah, keep ham fisting yeah. that into everything. Like, hey, you want to stay in this house? Build it! <laughs> like, no! Like, no! I want to hire Hank the contractor yeah. to come build it. I mean, it does sound kind of cool. It's like a defend your castle type thing, too. I guess, but, but I've seen so many DayZ videos, which is like, I'm not saying it's DayZ, but it's like, I, if the right, concept right. is similar. That would suck to like have all this stuff and you die and you just lose it all. I'd be like, all right, um, that's a one-time play for me. I was talking to a friend of mine at work, and he was saying uh, 
when you die, it's not like a permadeath type thing, but you come back with like 20% left of, or 20% less of what you had before. Of seven days to die? Yeah, and then so then you I have know to in the video stats that, back up or something. Oh, okay, I don't know about stats. I know like your equip, like all your stuff you stow into a backpack, and where you die, you drop your backpack. Oh, so it's zombie you? Go, you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Then you go back, you get your backpack, yeah. and everything should still be relatively in your back. Look, I, the zombie genre is definitely one of the most. Uh, or saturated genres of games next to that, that's global, what, mar, mar, you know, global marines. C- coming like back it, yeah. to Pokemon Go, that's what I was like. By the end of the month, you're going to see a, a zombie go where you like find guns and then you shoot a zombie with this destination stuff. Just mark my words. That will be out within a couple months. Somebody will do it. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Everybody's going to try banking on that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, we talked about this a couple of shows ago, but uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2 is officially happening. Oh, cool. Yeah. Kind of a nice tie into movies and yeah. games and that. Yeah. I was pretty excited to hear that. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> Matt's, Matt's, I gotta find, Matt's having... I wait till, I'll wait till, I'll wait till it's over. He's having growing pains over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting bigger. Oh, I, I've got something to share that came out that yeah. maybe five people care about. Um, so the guy that was doing the high def NES... Just released uh, his oh, kits. Oh yeah! Uh, he uh, he did 200 kits, which is a stupidly low amount of kits because there's so many people. Just in the St. Louis area, we made up like four percent of the people that wanted to buy these things. Mm-hmm. So anyway, the guy puts them for sale on Fourth of July at 5 p.m. The server crashed. <laughs> of course, it did. An hour before he even put him up on sale because we're just making sure you know. He didn't put him up early, a little bit earlier, whatever. So he was already having server problems an hour beforehand. We weren't able to actually check out <laughs> three hours later. About 8 p.m., I finally got my kit, and there was only 84 kits left when I got through mine. It, it actually sold out when people are able to check out within mm-hmm. probably an hour. So, yeah, they're making up a bunch more, but... I installed it, and man, does it look good. It really does. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks stupid good. Uh, Which you can also check out these videos on Jake's channel. Yes. His YouTube channel. What's the name? Zebular. <laughs> well, or, it's or YouTube. Jake yeah, F. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube.com backslash Zebular, Z-E-B-U-L-A-R. Or, yeah, you can check out my channel. Just search for, uh, what was it, Jake F. Jake yeah. F. But yeah, he's got the video I uploaded. Um, it really does show the quality of the video. And did you upload the video of the front end of that thing running? No, I need, need, I need to, to do, do a video. You need to do a that, video yeah. on that because that is really cool. Yeah, the front end's really cool. So it's pulling uh, the digital signal directly off the CPU and the PPU. So there is zero lag in this. Any sort of lag that you're going to get, it's just from your TV response time. That's the only kind of lag you're going to get. So it's just as good as playing like a Nintendo composite signal on like a CRT. There's there's no lag. There's nothing being transferred into digital. It's already digital. So the thing on it is actually, um, it, it's got a front end. And you can enable whatever kind of audio chipsets you want since there's special audio. And, for example, Castlevania 3 for Famicom. Yeah. yeah, the expanded audio, which that's really cool. Um, you can set whatever sort of aspect ratio you want. Um, if you want to do, like, the emulator type stuff, which I would never do this, instead of having it pixel perfect, you could do that, like, 4HQ and all that other yeah, kind of stuff 4. you can do. Yeah, Yeah. I watched part of that video when he's showing you, you can stretch it out. You can make it fit the whole thing. Right, or if you, can, you want it Or to, you can yeah. have it to where it's, like, uh, uh, natural, like, the original aspect Yeah, My Life in Gaming ratio. did a really good video it's, on it's, it it's a little long, but it is the most, like, co- everything is covered. You're not going to have any questions about anything by the end of the video yeah. because the way he explains it, it's top to bottom, uh, left you're, to right. You're going to have people saying that... The Frame Meister is still better with it, but it's really nice. So you have the original Nintendo, and then they started using the uh, Player Choice uh, 10 RGB mod on that. So you're getting true RGB out of the original Nintendo, which is an analog signal. Anytime you take an analog signal and then run it through a digital converter, you're getting lag. Right. And that's what people need to understand. So this is a step above that. And it's... with all the options, it's pretty damn neat. Yeah, and you are uh, in the process of building those, correct? Yep, yep. I mean, if now you somebody have yours, wants to bring them to... Oh, yours yeah. is already... Yeah, it was... Whenever I bought mine, it was uh, one per order, so... But how long do you think it takes to build? Oh, for me? 
or to, for him, or, for anyone who wants a, who wants who would want one. I could probably do like a week turnaround if somebody got me one. Hmm. There you are here, folks. So, uh, if you want to make your NES totally kick ass, uh, look into one of those. Um, it's it's really cool. Yeah, like, I, now it doesn't come cheap. This is for it's purists. For, it's yeah, for yeah, purists, but it's the yeah. best picture and play quality you will get out of your factory NES. True. Mm, sorry, mm, I am mean, yawner. <laughs> Does it have? He is enthralled with this. Enthralled. Um, did, do you have to have? Does it have to be a top loader, or can it be a toaster? No, it can be a toaster. It can be okay. a top loader. The only ones that aren't supported, um, there's one. Okay, so they did the Famicom, which that's not supported just because of clearance, because the chips set higher, and the original Famicom has that eject button, and you would hit your chips with that. If you didn't use the eject button, it would still work on that. Then they had the Famicom. Two or I think they called it the AV Famicom. It had AV cables on it, but you can use it on that except for one certain chipset. But I'm sure most people aren't going to do that. Uh, the Sharp Twin, unfortunately, is not compatible with it. Boo. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah, did, I, uh... did you get your games in? No. Oh man. Funny story. Let me tell that story real quick. Well, first of all, I haven't got my power supplies not coming yet. Oh, so okay. well, it's coming from France, right? Yeah, and the games come from Japan, so <laughs> probably going to be waiting a while, but interestingly enough, uh, and I told Amazon that I was going to share this story until they fixed their stupid problem, um, I haven't had an accessible Amazon account now since July 1st. Why? What? I was uh, on I today. Have no idea. Um, I have no idea. Last time I last, tra last, tra last transaction I did was on July first when I bought three uh, uh, Famicom disc games okay. from the same third party Japanese market, the one with the best reputation. Not all the eight thousand just launched and just literally copies everything. <clears throat> but interestingly enough, um, since then I can't access my account. I can access part of my accounts, but I can't see my active orders and I can't buy anything. And uh, having spent now four different times on the phone with Amazon where they try and convince me it's my computer which I'm like oh okay well I'm going to dismiss X I've tried it on four different computers and most of all I'm trying it on your mobile app and here's what happens if I try and view my order it just put in my pass email put in my password click OK and it brings me right back to that screen just over and over and over and over again never get past that if I try and buy something it tells me that there was an issue with my accounts and they're working on it as we oh, speak great. and that comes up same thing with the Amazon because I've had a thing in my cart now since July 2nd uh, by the way I love the fact that today is Prime Day and I can't do anything for that um, let's see proceed to checkouts uh, touch my ID for my Amazon and Amazon.com mobile service encountered a sign in problem. Please try again shortly. Have you uninstalled the app and reinstalled it? Yes. And I've changed my password and I've changed my security. What was that? That's, that's what was that you just did? I just type in my password. Uh, you can thumb, it's thumb technician. See? On uh -huh. Amazon. Nope. Uh, I can, <laughs> if I buy, if I bypass that, if I bypass that and close out of it and just do my regular password, it also doesn't do it. Speaking of not trusting That's technology, we should probably call your brother. <laughs> we should probably <laughs> All right. call Bob. Let's, All right. Let's see if he falls Ladies forward. and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Call, call Bob. Bob. Doo -doo -doo. Is Bob. he going to pick up or think it's a propane emergency? <laughs> you know, the problem is, you people keep calling me. <laughs> well, you know, well, you know, you know, just gotta, gotta do what gotta do. <laughs> By the way, if you do come to the Mo Game Con on August 30th, we'll be, Bob 13th, will be there. Bob will be there. Yeah. Okay. If that's not a reason for you to come out to that podcast, I don't know what is. And I hope to get your brother officially on this show at that point. Make sure you. Is it going to pick up? Is it going to pick up? Bob, are you there? Are you going to pick up? Go down the burrito, answer the phone, Bob. Do do do. Ah. Uh, oh. The Google subscriber you have called is not a. Boo, Bob. Oh. Boo. Oh. For shame. I bet I get a text message after that. I don't want to be on your show. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fan. Why does he want to be on the show? <laughs> well, mainstream made radio is just not what it used to be. <laughs> Playing that recycled garbage. <laughs> there has been one consistently brought up topic of conversation on this show for months now. Your brother has come <laughs> up every week in some instance. <laughs> I love it. 
And yet he refuses to acknowledge. We we need to have a segment. What does Bob think? And we, we just. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, it's just. It, it's like a video segment. Cuts no, of Bob. Oh, it, it. it's got to be the last segment, and we just we just fire off the subjects we talked about all through the night and be like, "What are your opinions yeah, on this?" Like, this, like this, real this. quick, <laughs> I'm for it. <laughs> against, <laughs> against, pass. <laughs> Women's right to vote. Against. <laughs> Bob, that wasn't even that wasn't even one of them. I know. I just want to get my two cents <laughs> and get it back. <laughs> I love the fact that your impression of Bob sounds like most people's impressions of coked out Nick Nolte. <laughs> oh, I take care of place while I. It's hard to imitate Bob. It, he's much like the emo's pizza, o- often imitated or whatever it is. Often never- imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's that's Bob Friedel for you right there. <laughs> Unt- he's untouchable in terms of <laughs> imitating. He, that is pure uncut Bob Friedel. <laughs> yeah, the purest cut. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. I love it. I love it. If we don't get that shirt made for him for the con, I'm going to just be upset. what's it going to say? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm that, that Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we just that's all we just that, just make it one for him. And Spencer, him we up. need you to get on this. Man. <laughs> yeah, Spencer, we need a shirt for Bob. Yes, what is it? Yes, yes. I'm that Bob Friedel. Yeah, we need that black <laughs> shirt, white, right, white print. Um, Preferably his profile photo from his Facebook page on the shirt if possible, or on the back of it, we'll put apathetic Bob. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Number double zero. <laughs> also excellent. Also excellent. <laughs> I really want to meet the person who travels. Like, I came in from Maine to meet Bob. For real. <laughs> yeah. Bob's going to be signing autographs. <laughs> He's looking at his face, go, what the hell is this crap? Like, it's like I walk out of the con at the end of the day going, like, I signed like two autographs. Bob signed like 50. <laughs> We're walking out with yeah. like, an endorsement deal. Bob, Bob we want you on TV. Adam Corlett would be like, Nobody's talking to me. They're all talking to this dude. Who is this guy? I've never even seen him on YouTube. Should we save a vendor table for Bob? Yeah. It's just <laughs> what are you selling? My knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> just put an information center. Well, you want information? I'll tell you about things. <laughs> two cents cost two dollars. <laughs> I love this idea. This is really, this is productive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. That's what it's all about, man. Firing off shots, trying to figure out what to do here. <laughs> Bob, much love. Wish you were. Wish you would answer your phone, though. Really, wish you would answer your phone. I wish. Uh, I wish Jake could make up a gross excuse, but we'll save that for later. Eh, well, you know. Eh, <laughs> you know. Eh, that's the only thing. Uh, I think that's gonna do. I thought I had one more thing to bring up, but I think it's, about, it's sure probably about Jake <laughs> and his middle name. Yeah. <laughs> no, oddly enough, it wasn't about that. It's dashiki, and it's beautiful, and it's exotic, and we're here. We we're here for you, dashiki. Yeah, I um, yeah, I don't think so. I think that was everything covered. That I think. Yeah, um, I just say. a reminder, though. Um, you know, got a. Uh, oh wait a minute, there was one more thing. It was about Pokemon freaking stupid go. Uh, of course. Uh, so apparently there was a accessory for this. It was. Oh, a, that's uh, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, there was a accessory that made it possible for playing without pulling out your phone. It was priced at thirty-five dollars, but if you wanted to guarantee so, one for yourself when it launches, you're gonna have to po- pick up the bigger thing than that. It's a Pokemon Go wrist device. So it's was, just, uh, yeah, just an accessory. Yeah, the device will launch on July thirty-first, but apparently it's already sold out at Amazon, at GameStop, and all their places along the way. And, and- you of course, buy, of course, eBay. Yeah, scumbags from eBay are already selling it upwards of a hundred dollars. More than a handful have gone for over two hundred dollars, with a bundle of two selling for three eighty five. Two, two kinds of people here: the jerk, the jerks that do this, and then the dumbasses who are going to go out there and pay yeah two hundred dollars or whatever. If you are the morons that are actually buying this at stupid high prices, you're yeah, part of like the problem. you're part of the problem. You're just as In bad. Fact, you are the problem because. They otherwise, continue to otherwise do they'd buy it for thirty. They buy it for thirty-five, try and sell it for one hundred and fifty, sit on it for three months, and then get rid of it for nothing. But yeah. instead, you're going to go out there and go, "Well, I need it." When you don't, it's just an accessory for yeah. you not having to I use mean, your phone. So all those people who paid over one hundred and fifty dollars for what was that? Devil's 
Devil's Third. Devil's Third. And now you can get I, one on eBay for like 24 25 bucks. Actually, they're less than that now because they're turning off the online servers. And apparently the only decent part of that game was the multiplayer aspect of it. So now they're really trying to clear it some out that for like one 10 I'm bucks. I'm so glad I just waited on it. Well, I, I never got it, actually. Wii like, U no. for the win. <laughs> L-O-L. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Nintendo just came out with a phone game that kicked anything out of Microsoft and Sony's asses. I'm not playing it. I'm just saying, you're not playing it. Money wise, everyone else money wise. It is. Apparently, the three of us right now are the only three people not actively playing it. See, that shocks me. Like the amount of people that did install it, yet you know, I would consider us obviously all gamers. Yet none of us. I installed it. And I installed oh, you know, it. Okay, I did well, install it, and I, I got rid of it. Um, and that, but yeah, nine billion. You really can't argue that point. That's, that's a lot of money. That's bigger than Candy Crush numbers, right there. That's crazy. Yeah, good for Nintendo. I just hope they don't ever start doing invites because there'll be a whole bunch of people. <laughs> the Wii Nintendo oh, will take all this money right in the face. Coming up instead of the NX, it's the Wii U Wii. If if you're <laughs> one of the listeners who I've befriended on Facebook and I've unfriended at some point, <laughs> let me tell you why I unfriended you. And it has nothing to do with anything you said politically or anything like that because I just don't even read anything half the time that people post. That I see anything really into politics or anything like that. I'm just like. Whatever, phase out. Yeah, he even keeps me on there after all my dong fix. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> here's, how to, here's how to guarantee you get unfriended on Facebook with me. Send me game requests. That will pre- You get three strikes. Third strike, I'm not, you're no longer my friend. I don't care. And that, like, learn it very quickly. I'm not accepting your game requests on Facebook, period. Don't yeah. send them. This is just like the eBay thing, though. You can block that stuff. You can go to game the games thing and go block all requests. I didn't. I did that years ago. Okay, I didn't. I did that, but seemingly every time a new game comes out, I get requests about it. The only thing I get requests for is just Candy Crush, and then I I already I play it, but I block. I got I got an invite to that like last week. I was like, "There's still people playing this." I I am. I got got, got an invite into Farmville. I'm like, "That's still a thing." But here's the thing with Candy Crush: um, some phones is updated enough to where. Uh, when you send out lives, or I want lives, there's yeah. two lists. There's a fr- your friends list, and then there's Candy Crush, <laughs> the actual people that play Candy oh, Crush. Oh, I see, okay. You so, should create a third list, the people that will unfriend you for saying them this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a toot. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's, 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 let's end this on this note, but remind everyone that we are less, we are basically a month away now. A month away, people! Mo Game Con. MoGameCon.com. Get your tickets now. If you're a vendor, there's still a handful of tables left, and, but they're going quick. So if you're seriously thinking about coming out, inquire now about getting a table. I uh, got a hold of Retro USB, too. The guys that made a lot of those uh, reproductions. Uh, what else do they do? Retro USB does a lot of control. Oh, they do. Well, they, 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 they got the AVS console coming out, which is like a uh, they also FPGA. S- yeah, they sell like the repros of like the uh, the NWC. The NWCs. They do the uh, the Christmas carts every year. They do a lot of stuff. Yeah. They sell a lot of supplies for doing it yourself. Yep. Kind of my work. Um, actually, uh, Limited Run Games asked. Uh, what cons should they go, come to besides PAX? And I said, hey, Mo Game Oh, did, did you get a hold of them? Yeah. I haven't really got any, any response yet? or The, the guy in question at Mo Game Con favored the, favored the tweet. And oh, I excellent. put I put this show's Twitter page on there, so there's a way to contact. So excellent. Okay. And that's so hopefully maybe Limited Run Games will have an appearance yeah, there. Yeah, Retro USB, uh, the guy got oh, back a hold of me. But, I, uh, I don't know up? if I mentioned this the last time we were on there, but uh, confirmed, um, we are going to have uh, Graphite Labs is coming, and they are going to bring uh, their new game. Um, uh, Hive Jump is going to be being shown off there. Uh, Hive Jump hits Steam Early Access on July 20th. Um, it's kind of a cool Marine Shoots Aliens uh, 2D platformer throwback 16-bit looking game. Uh, but they're going to be at Mo Game Con showing off Hive Jump. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. And that, and, uh, yes. happy to see, uh, devs. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, that, that's really cool. Definitely a lot of But fun. not the devil. <laughs> no, not the devil. I ain't no. happy seeing the devil. Yeah. No. <laughs> Although you might see a copy of Devil's Crush. That's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fine. You know, that's <laughs> Are you bringing any systems with you to that show? You, should, you know what you should do? Bring your bring an NES, the HDMI, and I'm, have I'm, one display. I'm thinking about it, yeah. Uh, but that was what I was going to say. If uh, Retro USB shows up, because they were talking about, or I asked him if he wanted to show off his uh, AVS, which is the oh, FPGA okay. Nintendo. If he is bringing that, I'm not going to do what? that. The what? It's called the AVS? No, no, after that? FPGA? Oh, 
I was like a female pro golf association. No, 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 no. no. I, I forget That's what it actually stands for. LPGA. LPGA. <laughs> That's right. Basically, it's a programmable chip to take place of like the Nintendo's uh, processor. Yeah. Cool. Oh, right on. Well, either way, win-win. Yep. Cool. All right. I guess I, it's... I got nothing. All right, cool. That's... Oh, uh, big shout-out to Matt, whose last time I didn't get, uh, not this Matt thing here, but the other Matt, you know who you are, for the uh, Sega Saturn Castlevania deal. Thank you much. Shout-out to him and that guy, he sweet hook up there. Listening. And that, and also got a sweet hookup on a boxed Final Fantasy three complete with oh, the very cool. manual map and poster. So nice. big shout out to him. What what's uh, something like that go for anymore? Uh, almost about, zero, I think. Yeah, it's getting about okay, hard say, six, I know, I know hard sixty two ten to uh, the hard thing to find the map. I was gonna say I know the cart's about the, fifty. The manual's a bit rough, but the map, the box, and the poster in a Mac condition, the, the manual I can replace that. That's not that difficult to do. Right. And that that's a little rough, but everything else is pristine. So really cool. Really yeah. cool. So that's pretty awesome. I'm happy to get that snag up. So, And thank you very much for the Castlevania swag. I appreciate that. No problem. Magazines. I'm happy to help enable a Castlevania addiction. <sighs> it's fun to collect for. It is. It's, it's not oh, just so a, you're saying your uh, Dracula Lax is for sale? Well, yeah, that'll be eventually, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to have a Oh, come on now. That's my so dream. That's my dream. That's my dream hope over the, the, the next... Well, it's not... Leg- the cart's legit. The manual's legit. But I bought a, um, I bought a repro box. Oh, oh, okay. oh, I didn't even know. Oh, I, I thought it was just a card anyway. See, I was going to say, the two, the, the, the that's number two on my Holy Grail watch list right now for games. Is it? Number two. That's number two. Number one's still Rockin' Cats. Really? Oh, I've been, awesome. I'm dying to find a copy of Rockin' Cats. And a certain someone in a certain group we know got one, and I, I just am pissed off to know, and that he did. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh. But anyway, I'm not jealous. <laughs> I'll find one this weekend or at MoGameCon. If you're looking for a hard to find game and you're in the New Missouri area, Mo GameCon, check yeah. it out. Uh, that's gonna do it for me. Anybody else? No, the no. Shiki don't have nothing. The Shiki, the yeah. Shiki. Once again, the Shiki. Thank you for just you know yeah, well, bearing it all. That's why I've got this headdress. That that's a beautiful dress. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.